This is Lauren Wandell, aka The Fit Law. Uh, welcome to my kitchen. Um, I always say this at the beginning of every live video, but it's because it's true. I love to cook, and so I'm super, super excited about tonight's recipe. I told you guys about it last week, so if you tuned in, you already know what we're making. Um, if you follow me on Snapchat, you already know what we're making, so I'm really excited that you decided to join me tonight. Um, I am going to be making spaghetti squash lasagna, and I'm freaking excited because this looks delicious, and it sounds delicious, and all the ingredients in it just make me want to eat it. So, I'm super pumped to make this tonight. Um... I went to the store and got everything, made sure I had, had everything I needed, uh, so we're good to go. So this is going to be sausage based. Um, you could totally do this with like ground turkey or ground chicken if you wanted, but I like sausage, um, so that's what I decided to do. You could totally make this spicy too, but it is going to be, you know how many carbs? Very low in carbs because there's no pasta in this. We're going to use spaghetti squash as the base instead of uh, lasagna noodle lasagna noodles so it's gonna be a little different than your normal lasagna but it's definitely gonna have all the flavors it's not going to lack any flavor at all I mean come on guys it's me um, and the other thing I'm gonna do for my husband is I'm actually gonna make regular whole wheat spaghetti so that he can add that to this to get his carbs because he still needs carbs right so for him He's still gonna eat this, and then you can, he's just gonna scoop it on top of the spaghetti and eat it like that. So he's gonna get a huge helping later today um, when he gets back. He is uh, picking up my mom from the airport, actually. So give me one second before we get started. I'm going to jump on here. I will have my phone uh, so that I can answer your questions. So if you do have questions throughout the live video, please feel free to pop them below. Um, let me pull it up and turn down this. Okay. Never tasted squash. Well, it is a really good substitution for carbs, so definitely try it. Um, all right, guys, yeah, again, if you have questions, just feel free to pop them below. So here's what we're gonna start with. You all know my very favorite thing. We gotta start with an onion, right? I mean, come on, it's Italian food. Onions first. So we're gonna use half of a white onion. I already peeled this, so I'm just gonna chop off the top. Roots intact, right? We're gonna cut it in half. We'll save half of this for whatever else. Um, I like to uh, always have a half an onion in my fridge because it's great to just like chop up and stick in like an omelet in the morning or uh, you know you can use it pretty much to flavor anything. We eat so many onions in my house it's insane. Okay so we're gonna dice this and if you've never been on one of my live videos before you know I always teach you how to do this every single time. So when you have an onion and you're trying to dice it, small dice, Hand is flat on top, okay? You're gonna make some um, incisions into the back of the onion. All right, we're gonna do three to be exact. You're gonna stop. There's an imaginary line along the back there. You don't wanna cut through it. You're gonna pull straight back, go up a little bit. We're gonna do the second cut, stop, pull straight back, and then we're gonna do one at the top, all right? Now we're gonna go down. Same imaginary line. You're following that same imaginary line the entire time, okay? We're gonna make just straight cuts down, and then we turn it. So we cut in, we cut down, and now we cut across, just like you would do rainbows. But what happens is, this makes your onion come out in even dices so that it doesn't cook um, unevenly. Because what happens is if you uh, put it in the rain, like if you cut it in the rainbows and then dice it up, you're gonna get really uneven dices. You're gonna get a big bite of raw onion or onion pieces that are gonna burn, and that's no bueno, we don't like that, don't do that, okay? So we're gonna start a pan in the back here. About two, I would say about a tablespoon of olive oil. Turn that on medium heat. We're gonna throw our onion in there, okay? Get that cooking back here. My spaghetti squash is already cooked, so I'm gonna run you through how I did that. All right, grab that. Okay, so with the spaghetti squash, what I did is it calls for one large spaghetti squash. Now here's the deal. If you can't find a large one, you can get two small ones, totally fine. You need about four cups of the inside, okay? So with spaghetti squash, you can cook them in the microwave. I choose to do them in the oven because it's kind of like a leave it and forget it kind of thing. So what I have back here, if I did two small ones, you cut them in half lengthwise, I brush them with a little bit of olive oil, salt and pepper, stick them in the oven for 400 degrees, and I bake them for about 35 to 40 minutes, okay? And then what we do is, I'm just letting them cool. So that's why they're off to the side here, because I already baked them, I wasn't gonna make you go through that. So they're already baked, they're off to the side, good to go. Um, and we will, I'll tell you how to take out the insides in a minute. So while these onions are cooking, we do want to add garlic because again guys come on we're doing Italian food like you know you need garlic um, so let me check these let me see 
Um, sounds amazing. Is this paleo? No, it's not because there's cheese in it. It is live. Yeah, guys, I'm definitely live. So feel free to ask questions. Okay, so garlic. Three cloves of garlic. Not six. Three cloves of garlic. I already peeled these. We're just going to mince them up really quick. My cat is standing right by my feet. He loves... I hate that he loves to stand there. I mean, it's really cute, but it's super annoying because I step on him all the time and then he's like, meow, and freaks out. I'm like, dude, come on. You're like, wrong place. Move. Literally anywhere else in the house. We have a huge house and he just like sits by my feet while I cook. He loves his mom. Okay, so three cloves of garlic. And then what we're going to do is once those onions get about four or five minutes in, basically that we want them to be um, see-through translucent. Uh, once those get to be like that, we will add this garlic in. And I usually use a garlic press, but not today. Come on, there's like one piece that does not want to chop up. All right. I'm going to kind of put this off to the side here. And then we'll work on our sausage. All right, let me rinse my hands because garlic is so sticky. All right, I can hear these. They're kind of frying, so just give those like a little pause. Okay, so garlic is done, good, off to the side. So now I'm gonna tell you about my sausage, all right? So what I have is, I just, find, I just found mild Italian sausage. If you wanna go spicy, totally perfect, do it. You can buy any kind of sausage that you want, um, even like the Bob Evans or like, you know, the tubes of sausage, totally fine, will work. You need a pound, okay? So what I did is I bought links because these ones were the best quality that I could find. And then I'm just gonna take the casings out, okay? Or to casings off, okay? So I already did it to a couple, but just get a pair of kitchen shears and start at the end here and just prick a little bit of a hole, cut a little hole, and then just run your scissors all the way down it, okay? Just like that. And then you should be able to just peel that casing back. All right? The casing is what keeps it together. We want this to almost crumble, right? Because we're going to be putting it in an even layer just like we would in lasagna, like we do in lasagna. All right? And then you can just discard that casing. You don't need that. So I got two more here that I need to do. What is your trick to cut the spaghetti squash? Serrated knife. So I use a bread knife, actually, when I cut spaghetti squash because I think it's easier um, than using a chef's knife. Do you use so? Do you have to use so much onion? Can you just use half? Absolutely, you guys. That's the thing is. So what I was always taught is that recipes are suggestions. So if you have a different idea of what's going to work for your family or what's going to work for you, change it. You know, like I'm not the end all be all. I don't know everything. I look at recipes as suggestions. I find the base ingredient. Sometimes you know what? I don't have certain things in my house, and that's totally fine. If you don't like onion, if you don't like garlic, switch it up. Make it different. Cooking is, that's why I love cooking and why I struggle with baking so much is because for baking, it's, an it's more of an exact science, right? With cooking, you can kind of do whatever the hell you want. And that's what's great about it. Okay, so that's the last one. So those are good to go. Let me rinse my hands again. Okay. Those are almost done. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add the garlic and then at the same time that we add the garlic, I'm probably gonna let it cook for maybe like 30 seconds. And then I'm gonna add all the sausage in, okay? We're gonna cook the sausage, get that mixture going, um, and then we're gonna start working on our spaghetti squash. So really, really simple. Um, the sausage doesn't have too many calories and sodium. So honestly, I'm just gonna be very, very 100% honest, guys. I don't watch my sodium intake. I don't have issues with it. My husband doesn't have issues with it. Um, I mean, I cook a lot at home. So I can tell you right now, like I don't eat a lot of processed foods. So the amount of salt that I'm adding to stuff is definitely way less than I would get if I was eating processed foods. So with the sausage, I found the best organic, like best quality that I could. I'm not gonna kill myself over it or go to a specialty store to find sausage. Like it's just not worth it to me and I'm not gonna die. So that's what I'm using. Um, that's what works for me. If you wanna go a little bit healthier, just use ground turkey, add your own spices. Like you can lower the sodium and figure out the sodium content if that is something that you struggle with personally, okay? Um, let's see. Where does this fit in the 20... Dude, you're going to have to move. I, you Really, seriously, move. Um, okay, where does it fit in the 21-day fix? So, hold on, guys. I will answer that in a second. All right, onions are good to go. We're going to add this cat. I'm, oh, my gosh. I'm about to kill him. If you guys follow me on Snapchat, he totally ran away the other day. Like, just escaped the house. Jerk. 
Okay, so add that garlic in. Cook that for about 30 seconds. And I had a spatula out here for a reason, and I'm just not using it. Okay. Tuxedo. Ooh. <laughs> He's like sprawled out like all his all fours across the back of my feet. Okay. Um all right, guys, so next step, we're gonna add this sausage in. Now, you can cut it up if you want. I'm just gonna kinda like do the eh, 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 like psycho thing with my spatula and break it up. Okay, so that plate is done. See what I mean? All right, we're gonna let that cook for a minute. We're gonna work on our spaghetti squash. So, large bowl. Move this stuff off the side. Okay, large bowl. And I'm gonna grab one of these. They're still kind of hot. So I'm just gonna be careful. Whew. All right, now, spaghetti squash is literally the easiest vegetable ever. So, if you were on at the beginning, you heard what I did. I literally cut them in half lengthwise, brushed them with olive oil, salt, pepper, 400 degree oven, 35 to 40 minutes, okay? I'm going to just hold it and just scrape my fork along it, okay? And it's gonna start to just come out. And I need a hot pad because, holy crap, these are still really hot. This is real life, guys. This is what happens when I do it live. <laughs> so you just scrape it out. And then I'm just gonna stick it as I go in this bowl. Now here's the one thing, this is gonna have a lot of moisture and we're gonna wanna get some of that out or you're gonna get like a soupy mess at the bottom of your lasagna and that's gross, nobody wants it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna wrap this in a towel. If you've ever made like a cauliflower crust or anything like that, you need to remove some of the moisture just so it cooks a little bit better. So we're just gonna throw it into a, um, a kitchen cloth and uh, wring it out really quick and just get as much of the moisture out as we possibly can, okay? Come on, there we go. So use your muscles, Lauren, come on. This is why you work out, right? And you need about four cups of this. Okay, so with 21 Day Fix, this counts, and if you look at the recipe in the description, it does have the container breakdown on the bottom. Um, I'm gonna count this as one blue, one red, and one green, okay? Because we're gonna make it in a casserole. It's gonna be in an eight by eight casserole dish. It's gonna be in an eight by eight casserole dish, and you get to eat a fourth of the pan. Yes, I said a fourth. What I like about getting pre-done um, sausage is that it's already got spices and everything in it, so I don't have to worry about seasoning it. Okay, let's grab another one. And I actually probably will only need three of these, and then I'm just gonna shred the other one, and I'll just use it for like veggie leftovers throughout the week. There's still a seed in here. Oh my gosh, guys. <laughs> And you can totally use this just like you would any other pasta. So just like use this in place of your pasta. You know, you can make pretty much any pasta dish with spaghetti squash. Will I have to drain the sausage? No, I'm not gonna. You can if you want. Again, make it your recipe, y'all. I'm not Martha Stewart. I don't know everything. This is just how I do it. I encourage you to be unique, right? All right. Get out. I was gonna do this beforehand, but they weren't done yet. Cause I'm not that, I'm not that put together. Even though I know I seem flawless. <laughs> Just kidding. Oh my 
god, this is so hot. Okay. One more. Okay. That one's good. All right, and let's get the, I'm only gonna do one more. And then yeah, I'll just like shred this just like this and stick it in a, cause it's good just on its own too. This one I think is way less mushy. This looks like spaghetti squash way more than these do. These were a little bit more mushy, so I don't know if it just wasn't ripe or what, but this is, oh, that one looks great. Look at that. Look at that beauty. Yes. That is what it should look like right there. So. And then I just got my cutting board all messed up because I wanted to show you the things I do for you guys. Just kidding. Kind of. All right. It's like a game. It's like, how long can I tolerate holding it in my hand before I freak out? <laughs> All right. Do you cook the squash cut side up? Nope, cut side down. I do it facing down like that because I just think it cooks faster. Um, that's just my opinion. I think it traps the heat inside a little bit more and cooks a little faster. That could be completely false, but that's just my way of thinking. All right, that is totally more than enough. All right. Okay, let me, do I need this? Yes, but I can clean this off really quick. Okay. So what I'm gonna do now, oh, I totally burned my finger. <laughs> Whatever. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put this in a cloth and this is just like normal kitchen, um, dishcloth or whatever and I'm just going to wrap it up like this I'm gonna go over to the sink and I'm gonna twist it and squeeze as much moisture out as I can okay sorry I'm not gonna let you watch this because I'm not moving the iPad so hold on Almost done. Okay. And then you can just place this back into the bowl. It's still gonna have moisture to it, but definitely not as much as it did. All right, stir this one more time and then we'll start doing this mixture. I have a mixer chop somewhere, I just don't know where it is. Okay, cool. Yes, I did. I did brush the squash with olive oil. So what we're going to do, first thing, an egg, okay? Just stick it right in there. Boom. Easy. Next thing we're going to do is two tablespoons of Parmesan cheese, okay? I'm just gonna grate this right over the bowl and kind of eyeball it. I trust myself. How long is squash good after you cook? About, a, I would say about a week. All right, so this is just Parmesan cheese. So I'm gonna do about two full tablespoons in here. And this is just gonna help bind it together and give it a little bit of a nutty flavor. One more, good one. All right, okay, good 
to go. Throw this back in here. Get out my ricotta. Salt and pepper. There is salt and pepper on the spaghetti squash, okay? So don't feel like you need to over salt this because the cheese also is salty. So don't, um, don't overdo it on the salt, but you can definitely add a liberal amount of black pepper. Now, here's the deal. In the recipe, it calls for fresh basil. I don't have fresh basil. My store didn't have fresh basil, so I am using dried. When you're using dried spices versus uh, fresh spices, you need about double the amount, okay? So it called for, I believe, a tablespoon. So I'm gonna do, I'm actually not gonna do double, but I'm gonna do about a tablespoon and a half, okay? All right, all righty, let's see. These are cooking up nicely. This is like the worst spatula for this, hold on. There it is. Okay, so this thing, if you guys don't have it, it's Pampered Chef, it's called a Mix and Chop, and it looks like this, so you push down and then you twist. And it like breaks it up into tiny little pieces. I have a little one in pink too. Pink. Oh my gosh. So much better. All right. Good. Okay, so we are good, right? We had salt, pepper, squash. Just trying to go through my ingredients in my head. Yeah, that was good. Okay, so we're gonna use um, that spatula actually that I just got rid of. I'm just gonna use that to mix this, okay? So get this all mixed together. Make sure the egg is all good to go. Mix it with the cheese. Awesome utensil, I have two. I don't sell pampered chip. You know, I actually, I just love it. I love everything about Pamper Chef. I um, used to be a consultant before I decided I started with Beachbody, but um, no, I, I'm not a consultant. I have a really good friend who is. I love their products. I think they're great. Um, and highly recommend it. This is a Pamper Chef bowl. Uh, what else? That was a Pamper Chef thing. As a Pamper Chef stone, like I just really like their products. Okay, good to go. So here's what we're using. Eight by eight, okay? So square, and actually, yeah, I still need this. So I'm gonna start building um, while that mixture's still uh, still working, all right? So first thing we're gonna do, tomato sauce. So this is homemade tomato sauce that I ha I've had, you know, I have a jar in my fridge, so I have a half of a, or third of a cup, excuse me, of tomato sauce. I'm gonna use half of it now, half of it on top, okay? So I'm just going to literally like the thinnest layer that I can on the bottom. It's not very much. I'm just like getting the bottom, making the bottom red basically. Okay, good. We're gonna do uh, half of this mixture we're gonna do half of that mixture, a layer of ricotta, or repeat, okay? So. But I wanna make sure this is cooked through. Looks like it's got about two more minutes. So, okay. I'm just going to literally, actually, you know what? I lied. We're going to do this differently. I'm going to do this in a full layer. All right, so we're going to do a full layer of the spaghetti squash, just like we would in a regular lasagna, like, right? We would layer the pasta first. Okay. All right. Get all of it out. And you know what's great about this, guys? This is all vegetables. All right. 
Okay, so we have our spaghetti squash layer here. Just gonna even it out a little bit. Okay. This is good. Turn that off. Get rid of my mix and chop. Right in here. This smells freaking amazing, by the way. even layer and then yes guys on my diet on my meal plan I do get to eat cheese <laughs> so I'm lactose intolerant just so you know so I shouldn't be eating cheese but I am no shame in my game so this is ricotta and if you've never had ricotta it's really um it's I mean it's a way it's just like regular cheese I guess but it's it's very uh, light in flavor so it doesn't have a ton of flavor to it but it is delicious and this is what they use in lasagna so we're gonna just like do our the best we can it doesn't spread well so I'm just gonna kind of do the best I can to get uh, this in, in an even layer across across here uh, and then all of this it all this is is just plain ricotta cheese and ricotta on the 21 day fix counts as a protein it doesn't count as a blue container. So all the other cheeses count as a blue container except for ricotta and cottage cheese. So uh, it's kind of cool. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna garnish this with a little bit of um, parsley and then also a little bit of uh, uh, shredded mozzarella as well. And then we will bake it. Everything in here is cooked, guys. So like all we're really doing, the spaghetti squash is cooked, uh, the um, sausage is cooked, the Tomato sauce just needs to get heated up. So the only thing we're really doing is melting and bubbling the cheese. So what you can do with this mixture is make this ahead of time in, um, I have one of those disposable, like I've done these in the disposable eight by eight pans, cover it, put it in the fridge. And then when you're ready to go, throw your, the rest of your cheese on top, um, sprinkle it with, you know, some Parmesan, stick it in the oven. You're good to go. I wouldn't freeze this just because I feel like the spaghetti squash won't free freeze well. It's got too much moisture. It'll start to like crystallize weird. I just would say don't do it, but it will keep in the fridge for at least like two to three days um, because everything's cooked. So cover it, stick it in your fridge. You could do this as a meal prep and then eat it later in the week, hundred percent. So we're done with the ricotta. I'm going to get some mozzarella out of my fridge. Where did I put that? No, it's over here. Okay, I'm not even going to lie. I'm not, I didn't get fresh mozzarella. I bought Sargento and I got, I don't care. Uh, so I'm just going to do like a very thin layer. I believe the recipe calls for, I want to say a fourth of a cup, but just don't quote me on that. I'm just going to do like, that looks good. All right. That's it. Okay, last thing. We're gonna do a little, oh, I was supposed to do that first. Whoops, you know what? I'm not even gonna add any more. I was gonna add more tomato sauce, but I'm not gonna. Um, that's what happens. This is real life, people. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna garnish with a little bit of parsley. So grab your knife and just, I have a uh, rough chop chop this. So today I finally, I bought my first plants of the year. I have a planter now that's sitting on my windowsill. And just so you guys are aware, I am like the worst, the, I have, what's the opposite of a green thumb? Is there something that's opposite of a green thumb? Because I have that. I literally kill any plant that comes into my house. So I'm, I'm taking bets on how long they're going to stay alive. But for now I have fresh parsley. It's sitting on my windowsill. So I'm just going to garnish a little bit of this on top. Okay. It's just going to give it green. Like it's going to make it pretty. All right. Black thumb, yeah, exactly. Um, Diane, if you go up to the description of the video, of the live video, there is a link to my uh, web, to my blog in there. So guys, that's it. And then what we're gonna do is stick that in the oven and I'm just gonna watch it and see when the cheese melts. And that, that's when I'm gonna take it out. I got a piece of spaghetti squash on the bottom of here. So this is going into a 400 degree oven. 
I'm putting it on one of the top racks, okay? And then I'm gonna bake that for, I would say anywhere between, I would say like maybe 15 minutes, if that. Um, like probably 12 to 15 minutes, okay? You can also broil it if you're in a really big hurry. Um, I'm not going to because I have time. My husband's coming back from, um, from the airport, so he's not gonna be here for a few minutes. Uh, if you wanna see a full picture of the casserole of the lasagna, uh, when I am done, please head over to my Snapchat or my Instagram. Those are both at the fit law, all one word. Um, I would love for you to come and see a picture. Like I said, the full recipe is in the description of the video. It's also going to be on my Pinterest here in, an, in the next couple minutes, as soon as I get that picture uploaded. Uh, so you can also head over to see all of my recipes on my blog at www.thefitlaw.com backslash blog, or on my Pinterest, which is pinterest.com backslash the fit law. Guys, I'm the fit law everywhere. It's not complicated. I'm everywhere as the fit law. So um, I really hope you enjoyed this. I would definitely try this recipe. Like I said, for my 21 day fixers out there, this is going to count as one blue, one green, one red uh, for a fourth of the pan. So you can put that into four servings, each two tonight, one for me, one for my husband, and then we'll have two tomorrow for lunch. So thanks so much, guys. Please, please join me next Sunday, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'm always live for you. Um, I have a really good recipe next week. We're going to be doing uh, buffalo cauliflower bites. So please don't miss out. Uh, I will be here for you um, next week Sunday. So have a great night. Thanks so much for jumping on and yeah, enjoy the rest of what's left of your weekend. All right, guys. Bye.